ever feel from my new album. stupid fucks and idiots anything regarding my personal life is none of your fucking business and if you think it is you need to seek help you have a problem and you are vicariously living and infatuating and obsessing and harassing another individual that you do not know therefore that makes you mentally unstable okay so there with that being said Regardless, people in my position, my position, not yours, publicly, in the public eye, because clearly I'm in the public eye because I have strangers talking about uh, my private information and they somehow know stuff. I, I haven't said anything. What are you doing? Watching my bio and certain things and and literally, like, just... No, okay, so, anyway, going back to my life, is my life. I'll say what I want to say, I'll do what I want to do, be, and I'll, I'll keep doing those things because I'm doing them the right way. And you're so obsessed with me, it may, it, it, it's like, my fans are like my family, you other people are obsessive, what's my position? Being a celebrity, 26 years in the public eye, you specifically asking me what my position is. My position to you is that you don't know me, okay? But you know of me. That's why you're watching my live. So with that being said as well, that is, it makes it very clear. But like I said, doesn't matter what's happening in my personal life. I'm obviously prospering. I'm obviously a good man. I'm obviously very well capable of taking care of a child. That's a fact. All right? That's a fact. I've had to make many changes in my life. How many changes have you made in your life to better? Have you, did you go to rehab four times until you got it right? No, you didn't. So fuck you. All right? And fuck you for being so stuck up my fucking ass that you literally have my shit dergalies on your fucking nose. <clears throat> you like the smell of shit? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know why we're having a celebrity conversation. Some, I've sold 75 million records. I've done Dancing with the Stars. I've done Broadway twice. I've been in many movies, many TV shows. Uh, I'm still relevant. You can Google me right now and there's something about me today that's out. I'm very relevant. I don't need to fucking come at you in some sort of narcissistic way to be like, yo, I'll make this, I'll make this. It is what it is. You've seen the progression of my life. And if you haven't, th then you weren't there until I got to this position. So you don't even know what I went through. But there's people that know me, my fans, that have seen where I was three years ago living in an apartment with, you know, paying $3,000 a month with nothing but a Razor scooter to get around on and an F-150. Now, I got assets for days. I have multiple business ventures that I do. And that's just how it is. <clears throat> Wait, hold on one second. <clears throat> hmm? uh, yeah. um, but with that being said, uh, a f big fuck you to all you weirdos, and also um, uh, all the people trying to stir up drama, something again, oh, you pay attention to this more than that, and you have no idea what goes on in my household, so you can go fuck yourself. Like, you have no idea what goes on in my household. My decisions are mine. Sometimes I forgive people too much. <laughs> but I'm not going to sit here 
and talk crap about my baby mama at all. Nothing. She can be the one that does that, that goes and and puts lets everybody post of her crying and making everyone insinuate something, something happened. Well, yeah, shit happens. Doesn't mean I have to fucking tell you. So, 394. Let's watch that go down. Please. I don't give a fuck about being a celebrity. Who gives a fuck? Tell me why you're re- why I'm relevant. Tell me why you're relevant. Because I'm a, I'm a son. And I'm a good son of my mom. That makes me relevant, doesn't it? Tell me how you're relevant. Percent right. The person who says you're not relevant is literally telling you you're relevant. I'm Nick Carter's little brother. No, I'm Bob Carter's son. I stopped touring with Backstreet Boys in 1998. Then I toured with Destiny's Child, Britney, Usher, 98 Degrees, all that much music and more tour. Did a Walmart tour and then did seven of my own headlining tours with 30,000 people at my shows every night. A hundred times a year. Now I'm back doing it again. It's COVID right now, but two years ago. But you can't stop watching this car wreck. <laughs> Evil. Goodbye. Like nine out of ten people here, you were seven. Yeah, uh, I was also uh, 29 years old when the Love album came out. Have you seen the streams on my old albums on Spotify compared to the streams on my new album, Love, that I produced? Have you seen it? Maybe you should do your due diligence. Because I'm over a half a billion streams with the new music and then about 20 million with my old shit.